hi guys in this tutorial we are going to see how to run a job in periodical manner using spring scheduler concept so before start to the development here we are going to develop a small concept so I will run one scheduler in each 5 second and it will add the data to database similarly I will run one more scheduler who will face the data from database in every 15 second ok so here in 15 second it will call the retrieve operation from database and in 5 second each 5 second it will add a dummy object to the database so while retrieve we will get the 3 object as each 5 second it will add the data to the DB so let's begin with the development create a spring boot application change the description here change the package ok I am using 2.0.1 add the required dependency I am adding web I am adding lombok I am adding spring data gpa adding dev tools and adding in memory database h2 ok now create the application application imported successfully ok now create the required package creating a package call model creating a package call service creating a package call DAO ok so first create the model I am creating a user model here let's define two field private string id private string name ok and as I added lombok using the lombok getter setter add the all r constructor no argument constructor and adding two string as this is my model so I am annotating at the rate entity and this is my primary key ok and I want this ID should be auto generated ok so now create a repository DAO layer I am using here spring data GPA this should be on interface so that we can extend from GPA repository this should be our model this is the data type of my primary key ok now write the scheduler here annotate at the red service injecting repository here ok 
now schedule a job to add object in database in every 5 second okay so write a method add to db job okay now create the user object manually here only we need to set the name as already the id is auto generated so randomly add some name like okay now add this user object to database okay and print some statement so that we will check in console so sys out add service call in then mention the current date and time util date dot to string okay now annotate at the rate scheduled and we want to run it in each 5 second fix rate ok now let's write the second scheduler who will face the data from database in each 15 second public string it's db job okay now it will return the list of user object users equal to dao dot find all okay So again write the print statement here page service call and the number of record ok this out number of record fetched users dot size ok and we want to display the user so better to add logger here logger equal to logger factory dot get logger of user service dot class ok and print the list of user here this out not so log dot info users okay users now here also we need to mention the time period for execution so here we just use the attribute fixed rate but here we will use the cron expression scheduled each 15 second every minute every hour every day ok so second minute hour day so like this we need to specify the cron expression now let's run our 
application and we will check the number of record it's fetching for uh, due to the second job and the number of record it's adding the due to our first scheduled job okay to work with this scheduler concept we need to enable scheduling okay now just run our application getting some exception integral data type for java lang string let me check our model it should be integer ok now save let's restart run on port 8080 add service call one time then you can check here add service call on 45 then after 5 second then after 5 second it added 3 object then paste service call number of 4 it is showing 4 as initially it, it added once on first call this is the initial delay you can check your number of object added here check the id 1 2 3 as it is auto generated 30 5 40 30 like each 5 second it's adding the object and then the second scheduler will face the record and the number of record 10 here you can check up to 10 so as we mention in cron expression it will run like unlimited time we didn't specify the end syntax so this is the way we can schedule the job like um, we are getting some uh, mail from the bank provider like the pending amount or credit card bill related things these things they automated using this scheduled concept but that is the batch scheduled job so in my next video i will upload the a scheduled job using the spring batch concept ok let me stop this server so up to 19 record inserted in our in memory h2 database and all the 19 records as we uh, used the logger statement it printed here up to 19 record ok so each 5 second it's just adding the record and after 15 second my second scheduler will just calling one retrieval function to face the number of record and we are just printing them ok so that's it about this particular video if anyone have any concern or doubt you can add a comment and those who not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe it thanks for watching this video